assembling a reloading bench. Um, I currently have a Dillon 550C on an inline fabrication ultimate mount. Um, I'm doing this at home, that's why the, this looks a little different, it might work. Um, so what I did is I had, you can kind of see the top of it, I had a shelving. It came out to here, so I've cut these down and I've created a space. Um, then I've got my safe right next to it. So what we're going to be doing is making a 52 inch long uh, bench. We're going to be using the top, we're going to use uh, two by 12. Um, and we're going to put them together so it'll make it 26 inches deep. And then we're going to create two shelvings under it, about a foot apart. Um, this is not really going to be a how-to as far as you, you know, doing the woodworking. Um, we're going to do more of, you know, this is kind of the process we did, this is the materials we use. Um, now you, you should have some level of woodworking in order to do this, but just follow along and then we'll kind of do the pros and cons after we're done. Um, the way I'm doing it is it won't be a freestanding, it'll actually, will attach the back end to the wall and then the uh, front will have two by fours as support. So we'll try to keep it fairly inexpensive, but also heavy so that the press doesn't move around. So just follow along and uh... As you can see, uh, we cut all the pieces of wood. So now we're going to attach basically a support piece on this back one. We're going to use the studs in the walls to attach that wood. And then we're going to have uh, two pieces that come out. And then we'll have one that goes across. We'll basically be making a rectangle. And then the two by four legs will be the support on the outside of it. And then we're going to take, once we have that, we're going to then take the tops, put them on, and we're going to screw it from the bottom. So that way all, there's no heads exposed on the top. Um, They'll all be screwed in from the bottom. So, we'll so this is the completion of the reloading bench. Um, fairly inexpensive. Um, big things, I'm utilizing the frame of the house to basically create the sturdiness of this. Um, we have you know, two other compartments, uh, shelving plus we've got a little bit of space under the floor. I wanted to try to keep everything um, above the floor. Um, so the next video that we uh, are going to do, probably do tomorrow, and it's going to be setting up a Dillon 550C. Um, we're going to be setting it up for 223. Um, I have a just temporarily uh, screwed down with wood screws. I'm going to put some, uh, I'm going to drill through and have some bolts actually holding this together. But for now, we're just going to have it secure for that. And then we'll kind of go over my setup of everything I purchased and kind of the modifications that I bought. And that's it. So until then, stay safe and I'll see you on the range.